this video, we will look at how the Psycho Experience platform enables the collection of data for contacts and interactions. Data with actionable insights or for shaping the continued experience for visitors and customers across channels. The Psycho Experience platform has a number of storage and application roles, as well as search indexes. Two of the primary parts of the Psycho Experience platform is the Psycho Experience Database, or XDB, and XConnect. The Psycho Experience Database is a repository for marketing data that collects all customer interactions, connecting them to create a comprehensive unified view of the individual customer. XConnect is a service layer that sits in between the Psycho Experience Database and any trusted client that wants to get create or search experience data using the XConnect client API. One example of a trusted client is the Psycho Experience Manager product, which tracks experience data while visitors visit websites or mobile channels and retrieves the data to provide better contextual experiences. The first concept of the Psycho Experience database we will investigate is reference data. Reference data is common data referenced by data, um, common data referenced by data uh, used, uh, for example, while collecting, processing, or reporting. Examples are marketing taxonomies such as CAMs, etc., as well as GUIP or device information. The reference data service and reference data database is used to secure the integrity of data in the Psycho Experience database. It is a central store for data reference throughout the experience platform processes, such as tracking, aggregation, and reporting. Through the Sitecore management interface, for example, through the marketing control panel or campaign uh, management application, it's possible to create and update uh, marketing metadata, which can be associated with websites, pages, or actions on the web pages. This marketing metadata, for example, goal or campaign definitions, marketing automation plan definitions, or taxonomies are stored in the master database. However, when the marketing metadata is ready for, used, for use, it needs to be deployed. During the deployment, the content management role deploys the metadata to the reference data service, which in turn stores the data in the XDB reference data database. Storing the marketing metadata in the reference data database means that the integrity of the data in the XDB is secured and that the deployed data can now be used by, for example, the aggregation process, marketing automation service, or in reporting, which we will describe later. The content delivery role in the Psycho Experience Manager product hosts the tracker subsystem. And as the name implies, the tracker continuously tracks the actions of the visitors on the website. It is independent from XDB and XConnect given the single visit, even if the data is not persisted across visits or sessions. The tracking and personalization capabilities of the Psycho Experience Manager is explored in the content delivery and personalization videos for the Psycho Experience Manager. Now, when a new visitor webs, uh, visits a website or channel on the content delivery node uh, or role, a session is created for that visitor. The session contains a contact and an interaction. The contact stores the information about the visitor and is mapped to a unique ID. This ID is stored by the tracker in the device cookie in the visitor's browser. The interaction contains information about the visit, for example, which pages the visitor has visited, which goals and has been triggered, and so on. Both the contacts and the interaction contains a number of facets which is the data that a given, uh, given system wishes to store on the interaction or contact. This could, for example, be a customer's address, emails, uh, contact preferences, and more, um, or the geographical <clears throat> location where, is, where an interaction is made, or information about the device which the interaction is made on. 
The tracker uses reference metadata to enrich some of the facets in the contact or interaction. This means that the content delivery role requests information from the reference data data service. Now, when the session ends, the contact, contact and interactions are submitted uh, to the XConnect collection service. In scenarios with high visitor load, the, the XConnect collection service can be scaled to accommodate uh, increased levels of read and write operation. The XConnect collection service stores the new contact and interactions in the XDB collection database. As you can imagine, the XDB collection database can potentially contain huge amounts of visitor information. To handle this, the database can be scaled using a mechanism called sharding, which effectively splits the database up into separate databases of reasonable size, and which can be distributed to take the load. Because of the openness of the XConnect client API used by the tracker, the XConnect collection service can be called by any trusted system through the XConnect client API. The data exchange framework, for example, uses this, this API to synchronize contacts and interactions with external sources such as CRM systems. Another example of tracking interactions is through the Federated Experience Manager, or FXM. FXM makes it possible to track contacts and interactions on non sitecore websites by placing a tracking JavaScript link called a beacon on the pages of the non sitecore sites. This allows Sitecore to not only track and analyze on the activity of the non sitecore site, but also push personalized managed content to this site. FXM uses the tracker subsystem on the, uh, in the content delivery role just as native Sitecore sites, only through the JavaScript beacon script. In this scenario, the visitor will visit a non Sitecore website which contains the Federated Experience Manager beacon script. The beacon script is loaded by the visitor's browser from a Sitecore delivery role, which triggers the tracking just as it would on a normal Sitecore page. <clears throat> FXM allows marketing metadata, just uh, such as um, taxonomy goals and campaigns, to be associated with non Sitecore web pages, just like uh, they can be with native Sitecore pages. Now, in order to rapidly find any marketing metadata configured in Sitecore um, associated with the external page, FXM uses the FXM web index to map the parameters given to the beacon script to look up the correct metadata in the web database. Just as with regular Sitecore uh, website tracking, the visitor details, contact and interaction, is stored in session state, and when the session ends, the data is submitted to the XConnect collection service and served to and saved to the XDB databases. <clears throat>